Here's the bin for the European night crawlers. Okay. I do see some African night crawlers crawling here. Get a container for them. Forgot about them. Forgot that I'm gonna pull some out here today. If I can catch them. go. How about this one? <clears throat> Definitely an African night crawler. Longer tail, purple sheen. The um, clitellum is flush with the uh, oh, and here's a couple mating here. But they appear to be they appear to be uh, European night crawlers. The clitellum is not flush. They are um, it's raised in a lighter color. Tell what that one is. Let me look at this. It's another small one. All right. So we have one African night crawler in here. Okay. I'm going to put some of my usual stuff on top here. Get it out here. It's a uh, moist bedding. Let me turn this off, get it done, and we'll talk about it when we come back. All right, I'm back. I put the um, moist bedding and coral calcium. Um, some worm chow, some um, what I put in here? Duncan, uh, mosquito dunks, and bokashi grains on there. Bokashi grains just to add some microbes, beneficial microbes on there. Not necessarily enough to, um, you know, compost anything, but. Let me mix this up. I don't know if you can see here. Uh. Oh boy. That one's definitely a do you see the purple sheen on that? Definitely a African night crawler. Oh, this one's definitely an African night crawler. Purple sheen, you see that? Europeans definitely don't have that. It's a European. See the yellow tail? You can't see it, but it's dirty. <laughs> There's dirt on this one, but the clitellum is raised. 
Okay. Let's just keep on seeing what we have here. Oh. I can smell so oh. You know, I'm just gonna get the big um Look at that purple sheen, even though the glutellum looks like it's raised, but uh, could be creating a cocoon, but definitely purple. Definitely purple. Oh, I got a baby on my... don't know what kind of baby that is. This is a European. You can just tell the difference right off the bat. Okay, enough of that. I'm just trying to get out all the large African night crawlers that I can see. I imagine I'll be picking them out in perpetuity. Purple. Anyway. Oh. I can smell a bit of onion in here. But I think those two shallots uh, are pretty much history. Very moist, very wet in here. Purple. I don't want to. This is a euro. Oops, where did it go? Here it is. Euro. You can just tell by the colors and the clitellum and the tail. Okay. Oh, what did we have here? That looks like, jeez. Oh, nope, that's a shallot. Still continuing to break down. Another African, okay. Where's my euros? Here's my euro. A euro. Another euro. That one's gonna pop a cocoon pretty soon. Yellowish tail, striped. Quite muddy, quite wet. So that means it's full of castings in here. 
Here's a smaller Euro. You can tell right off the bat. Yellowish tail, cir uh, striped. Can't really tell about the clitellum since it's all stretched out. But you can see that, you know. Okay. Another Euro. This is a nice one. All right. Some purplish, purple sheen. You may not see it on camera, but I see it here. Definitely African. Okay. We go ahead and feed these guys up. This one's a Euro. Another African purple sheen. I think you can see that very readily on the camera. This angle. Purple sheen, look at the head, purple, purplish head, purple sheen, African. All right, let's feed these guys up. All right, let's put a couple handfuls of dry bedding here on the end. This is where I'm going to feed them. Have some. This is uh, coffee grounds. Not very much. Maybe a couple, couple tablespoons. And. Ground eggshell. A little bit more. Have to open this up. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Got some paper napkins. Uh, banana peel, um, rind from tangerine, lime slices, uh, potato, and that's about it for this time. And uh, we'll see how they do on it. We'll check on it next week. And here we go. This one is Euro. Okay. Gotta stop looking. I'll never get in on with my day if I continue to pick through this. It's just so interesting to find all the different... I don't know if you can see what I'm doing on that side. Just putting the... Spreading it. Oh. Another purple, African. All right. Oh, what is that one? 
I'm gonna, like I said, I'm, I know I'm gonna continue to find these. The uh, Africans produce a lot quicker than reproduce, I should say, quicker than the Europeans. So that's, I'm sure that's why I'm finding more. And that's why probably sometimes some, uh, if they're not separated, the African night crawlers will overtake the Europeans if you have a mixed bin. So as they get bigger, larger, and it's easier for me to figure out what type of worm they are, I will continue to pick them out. Here's what I got so far. They will all go in my African nightcrawler bin. Uh oh, here's one peeking out. What is that? Ah. Nope. European. Okay. Let me put these guys to rest. Put back the plastic. Thank you for coming on this journey with me.